Senescence. What is it? And what can it do for you? Aubrey de Grey, Chief Science Officer of the SENS Research Foundation, describes it as the gradual deterioration of function characteristic of the most complex life forms. He says the key, if not to everlasting life, but really, really long life, is robust mass rejuvenation therapy. According to de Grey, the human body is a machine. Like any machine, it accumulates damage over time. The body's self-repair machinery can tolerate a lot of that damage. But too much damage, and things start to fall apart, resulting in the hardening of arteries, dementia, brittle bones, and diseases and disabilities of old age. Yes, and ultimately, that death thing. Mass rejuvenation therapies aim to clean up the biological waste or gunk that accumulates inside and between cells and causes diseases of aging. These cleanses would essentially return people who are 60 or 70 or 80 to the biological state of a 20 or 30 year old. De Grey says all the cellular and molecular decay behind diseases of aging can be classified into just seven major categories. Even better, he says we can fix all of this damage. For example, sticky malformed proteins form plaques in the brains of people with Alzheimer's and more slowly in everyone else's. The solution? SENS is developing vaccines to deliver specialized antibodies that target the extracellular debris and remove it. SENS is also targeting death-resistant cells. These are cells that can no longer divide but refuse to die and spew poisons into neighboring cells. SENS claims it can remove these death-resistant cells using suicide gene therapy. The organization plans to develop a drug that's toxic only to the zombie cells that causes them to commit suicide, leaving the normal cells untouched. De Grey says the odds are 50-50 the first rejuvenation therapies will be available within the next five years. As a backup, De Grey has also signed up with the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. Alcor freezes dead bodies in liquid nitrogen on the expectation that some future medical technology will bring them back to life. De Grey is signed on as a neuro patient, meaning only his head or brain will be frozen. His body is disposed of. Though unsure where he'll get a new body, he did once tell an interviewer it isn't at all far-fetched to hope that one day we'll be able to grow bodies without heads and brains and just, you know, attach the revived head.